What we did was we restored the Nashua River and from a, a polluted uh, cesspool to the beautiful river that it is today. And we are working to protect the tributaries to the, the Nashua River. And the Mississippi and the Squanicook are the major tributaries to the Nashua River. So it's very important for us to protect the quality of water that we now have in the Mississippi and the Squanicook. Uh, as well as the, as the Nashua. So we have a plan to provide a greenway along the length of the Nashua River and their major tributaries. And so this uh, will be a natural vegetated uh, area that will act as a buffer from pollution and provide a habitat for wildlife and a corridor for wildlife to move. And for people to get on and next to the river to enjoy it. So this project here is a really important project uh, to us to improve the, the, uh, the quality of water. Okay, here we have Tim Purrington, the Director of Ecological Restoration, and Commissioner George Peterson from the Massachusetts Department of Fish and Game to talk about the dam project. Well, it, this is a wonderful project. Tim's he, sort of heading this up with the Ecological Restoration Group. Um, looking forward to coming back after it's been the dam has been moved out and the stream fully restored. Uh, we've been doing this kind of work across the Commonwealth. Uh, Tim's group has been very effective in working on these projects. And what I like about it is how quickly the streams come back to life with the movement of uh, all the different types of fish and wildlife that will come back after we sort of remove this impound. It's really great. And one of the things, we've got some uh, endangered species here. Uh, there's a unique mussel, freshwater mussel, that's in this river and this will only help rebuild them. Yeah, George hit the nail on the head in terms of I mean, our division worked very closely with Mass Wildlife, another division under George's care, and this has been a fantastic project both from an ecological standpoint, but also as a, really important for the community in terms of um, eliminating a public safety hazard in the community and reducing flooding in Pepperell. And this project is going to help basically um, the town adapt to climate change, which is a really important component of the work that we're doing. And I think one of the greatest things that is how many different groups and organizations can yeah. come together to get this accomplished really from uh, the state, the federal government, as well as uh, non-governmental agencies and organizations. Yeah, that's We're right. all working together to be able to get this accomplished. Yep. Good, very good point. That's a really good point. In community resiliency that has been exhibited in this important project. The town of Pepper is thankful to our many partners, federal, state, local, and nonprofit who assist in the planning, development, and most importantly, the $300,000 critical funding of this project. In closing, anybody for a jump in the drink before we breach the dam? <laughs> Woo! Pool party! Okay, Mark, it's all yours. Thank you, Stephen. So it gives me great pleasure, and before I introduce uh, George Peterson, who served in the legislature of the House of Representatives for 20 years, I just want to recognize, uh, try to do this as often as I can, the hardest working legislative delegation uh, in the Massachusetts House and Senate. And we have Senator Eileen Donnie, who is here today, who will be speaking a little bit later, and uh, Representative Sheila Harrington is on her way. So.